So today we are doing a nighttime routine featuring. Drum roll, please. <laughs> To the YouTube line. Yeah. <laughs> hey it's everybody. Different. We're not at the spa. We're not at the spa today, okay? <laughs> nope. We're in the bathroom. <laughs> yes. About to do the night routine. Yes, and ask them some questions. Mm -hmm. oh, I heard y'all have some questions. Yes. So one of the main questions I'm just gonna put out there that a lot of people were asking. Um, so many acids on the face, it's gonna burn off your skin. So as far as the acids are concerned, not every acid is gonna burn your face. So let's talk about, hold on, wait, wait, wait. And this is in reference to the morning routine video. Cause That's for right. those of you who didn't see the morning routine video, you probably not gonna know what I'm talking about. That's right. So go watch that and then mm -hmm. you'll understand. Okay, so now continue. Yes, so when I recommend the routines to all of my clients, meaning Crystal in this case, I recommended that she do that regimen during the day with a purpose and based on her skin type. So she already has a lot of oil production on her skin. So the reason why I feel comfortable recommending that she use a glycolic acid 7% toner was because she produces oil. We're trying to control her oil production. And then I also felt the liberty of recommending that she combine hyaluronic acid, which is not a resurfacing acid. Boom! Hyaluronic acid does not resurface the skin. Hyaluronic acid hydrates the skin. Yes. All right? She's gonna mix that with a little bit of lactic acid, which by the way, comes from milk. So it is resurfacing, but it hydrates and brightens. All right, so she's gonna mix that. Another fun fact is I made her combine the lactic acid with the hyaluronic acid in the palm of her hand to reduce the um, strength of the lactic acid. And guys, this is why her skin looks like perfect it looks very glowy yeah so these are the two that she is referring to mm -hmm. for doing the, the lactic and hyaluronic acid it's not clearing <laughs> maybe let me get out the way and come on there we go there we go so this is the two products she is referring to so you guys are not confused so we mix one pump of this with four drops of lactic acid and le voila. Then you get the glow. The proof is in the pudding. So I'm not burning her face, y'all. No, because we know what we do with the Listen, if my face was burning, it would be completely red That's and right. I would not be all smiley in the camera, okay? Yes. <laughs> so um, let's show them your night routine. The night routine, yes. It's different. So, night and day. <laughs> so, um, teach me the night routine as if this is my first time using it. So, okay. I recommended that Crystal use the Brightening Cleansing Gel by Acure. It's fabulous. It's all about brightening, y'all. I'm all about brightening. Call me the brightening fairy dust whatever <laughs> mother. I love brightening to the skin, especially on skin of color. We always need to be more bright. Mm -hmm. And we all suffer from a little bit of discoloration on our skin because we have more melanin, more skin tone in our skin. So anything brightening is gonna be amazing. This one is really good for Crystal because it has, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I don't know everything, okay? But the reason why I recommended this for her is because it has orange, lemon, and blackberry, which are an acai. So those are brightening agents inside of this um, foaming cleanser, all right? I'm going to then have her do the glycolic acid 7% toning solution by The Ordinary. I love this stuff. It's very active. So and yeah. Mm, real quick, mm. do you use, would you use these products on yourself? Hell yeah. <laughs> of course. Because I would, but different, because remember, your skin is different to mine. Right. So Crystal's skin, 
if you were here, you would be able to see she has pumping oil pumping pores her pour and that's a good thing you guys it's not a bad thing but my pores they're a little lazy so i gotta kind of help them out with other things so even though i use this i use it differently so right. you can use this morning and night i can only use this at the night time so she uses these products so she's not going to recommend anything that she never. wouldn't even use FYI. I would never. I just want that to be clear. I would never okay, know. Now finish. No, I'm no, done no. in total. Okay, oh, you <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh so, but wait, I got something else to say. <laughs> so, first the Acura Brightening Cleansing Gel, then the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner, and then she's going to use her Hyaluronic Acid. Again, this is not an active acid. Let me get out of there. Yo, these products are like... Okay, it's like somewhat... Oh. There we go. go. Yay! <laughs> these products are jealous. Me, me, me only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hyaluronic acid, this is 2% with... Actually, we forgot to tell them. This is hyaluronic acid with B5 vitamin, which is also a hydrating vitamin. So it's excellent on the skin. Every skin type can um, benefit from this guy right here. And then uh, to top off the regimen at night for Crystal, I also recommended that she use a retinol 5.5%, which is at 50% concentration. But if you notice, if you uh, buy this product, it's in a squalane suspension, meaning the retinol is inside of like an oily consistency type. Yeah, it is very oily. Um, concentration. And moisturizing. It's too. very moisturizing. The great thing about squalane, I could go on and on and on and on about squalane because even though it's got that oily consistency, it's not gonna make you break out. Right. It's one of the only I, uh, um, ingredients out there that will not make you break out and but it feels hydrating and I am a living proof of that because yes. I've been using this every night for how long it's been maybe like two two weeks two yeah. weeks now and I have not caught a breakout yeah with using this and at first I was a little hesitant like when I put it on I'm like all right this is, feels real greasy and I was nervous yeah but when I woke up the next day I woke up like this my Skin looks I was so like good because it's like we absorb it at night, yeah. right? Guys, another fun fact. This is so exciting because the cool thing about the last part of your regimen is retinol is by nature something that stimulates your cell turnover. What does that mean? It means that your skin is literally going to exfoliate itself overnight. But it's not going to become over dry mm -mm. or it's not going to be um, super dry the next day because it's in that squalane concentration. Which yeah. is why I love that so much. I love this product so, so much. Me too. They hit it Me too. with this one. Because That's a huge success, honestly. Because I've used a lot of retinol before. And the tendency, especially with my skin that's super dry, was right. to wake up with very like flaky skin. Who mm, wants that? No. You don't want that. Mm -mm. So when you have oily skin, you don't really want to over dry it. You right. want dewy, beautiful, glowing skin that is clear. Right. Yeah. She's wearing no makeup right now. No makeup. I'm also on uh, the... I'm on my own skincare regimen, mm -hmm. so I use a lot of things. But since we're talking about the ordinary today, um, I also use the product line, but I use different things. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't have anything on right now. Right. Either. She's bare faced. We're both bare faced. We're coming yeah. at you raw and live. Oh, <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right. So now let's actually, well, I'm going to actually do the stuff. Let's do this. So the first thing is to put the hair back. Yes. You have like a pin. I have a little hair pin. Girl, I got a whole bag full of goodies. Yeah, I just need a little hair pin. Oh, where can I use this one? Use this. Yeah, this is, oh, look at my little hair style. Oh my God, I can't. All right. Yo, my skin is shining to the gods. 
Okay. So you gotta put your hair back. That is the first step. Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Should I, I put know. my pink thing on? I wanted ah! to, but wait, I don't have one. Yeah, it's gonna be like over. Try it, try it. I love this thing that she has. This is the cutest <laughs> thing right there. Put it on. It's so dirty. <laughs> nah, not like mine though. <laughs> mine is really dirty. Cutest thing. It's really good for them it's edges so too. Cute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, use it. Mine's are a little bit more different from yours. Mine's aren't gonna, you know. Mine's gonna pretty much stay like this. You know, because I don't got no edges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my edges are so gonna cut her edges. <laughs> All right. So are we ready? Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna wash our hands first. And we're gonna, oh guys please it's really um important like i recommend that you use a towel to wash off your cleanser okay Jenna, you wash yours and should i like uh, mm -hmm. put some water no so for you mm -hmm. you're going to put a like pea size amount of cleanser on the palm of your hand like so boom now <laughs> Ooh, we can like actually that. lather a little bit more so with water. water boom mm -hmm. make it like foamy perfect and now we're gonna so bad. Oh shit. Get your stuff, well, so her skin my her, skincare is different. Yeah, her routine is different. <laughs> so first and foremost, let's just set the record straight. Um oh wait, please turn the water up. Wash. Like, Y'all are wasting water. <laughs> Alright, please when you're applying any cleanser to your skin, leave it on your skin for 30 seconds at least. That's the recommended time for a cleanser to work on your skin. And don't just leave this, the cleanser on your face, work it into the skin like Crystal is doing right now. My cleanser is different. I'm gonna be using the Squalene Cleanser by The Ordinary as well. I double cleanse. So I used this one first. Crystal could have done this as well, but I recommended that she start with the Brightening Cleansing Gel just based on the work that we're also doing at Array Spa on her. But eventually, I'm gonna start have you do this as well. Okay. Um, this is what it is. It's probably not gonna focus. Yeah, bam. Okay. And I'm gonna use a little bit more than a pea size. It's a creamy consistency that's going to become like an oil on my base. So I'm going to work it onto the tips of my fingers. And then use circular motions. Well, we're about to do a whole tutorial on how to cleanse. Cleanse your skin. <laughs> okay, circular motions everywhere. Work on that forehead. Work on your temples. We'll stop for a second. Work on your under eyes, and you guys, this is so. Okay, mine just disappeared. Oh, oh sh. Water. water, water, wash, water. This is an oily consistency. So it's gonna pick up on makeup. You can use this as a makeup remover. Oh yeah, that one looks nice. Right? I like that. One. Fun fact. This becomes watery. Mm. So check this out. What you want to do afterwards is use a little bit of water on the tips of your hands and go in. Mm, this feels so Yo, um, my skin feels so smooth. Really get in there. Pick up on all that debris, all that nastiness, all those toxins. Mm -hmm. And then grab the towel. Mm. 
pink and mint. Nice and warm, warm for the towel. And just wipe it off. And why you recommend wiping off with a towel versus because just if you notice, oh wait. Every towel has this texture. Mm -hmm. It's actually exfoliating for the skin. Mm. And you're getting a much deeper cleanse and removing the cleanser more effectively with the towel rather than just splashing water on your face. Okay. So but I gotta get I gotta get a face towel because that ain't gonna fall. I don't got that. Oh lord. I haven't used a face towel. Or sponges are good too. Oh yeah, like do that too. Sponges. They're a little softer, but I always recommend that you use something to remove uh, your cleanser. That's my thing. I don't recommend any cleanser being removed with just water. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> it's so dumb. You look bright and right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> you sound like that. Oh yeah, what does that sound like? <laughs> that guy from my teeth. From who? <laughs> oh my god, what's his fucking name? The skinny dude. Oh! oh. It's me! Oh, I don't know. Hello! <laughs> he's mad funny. I don't he's know. He's a his... comedian? Yeah. Well, he's not a comedian. He's like a. Like a, a Instagram person? Yeah. But he's funny. I don't know if he's considered a comedian though. I mean, does something it make Thompson. Sense? Oh, the Ricky, yeah. Ricky Yes. Thompson. Yes. Oh, really? Oh. I don't really watch him. So I didn't Girl, know. he's hilarious. Oh yeah? I gotta watch I gotta watch him. See now your skin is super clean, mm -hmm. nice and soft. Come on, it's right here. Careful with the lashes. Oh yeah. Very important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a fit. It's and fit. then next for you would be the glycolic acid toning solution. Mm -hmm. Always guys, please do not don't don't do this. Don't do that, please. Don't do that. Please always utilize cotton. cotton. A cotton round of your choice. I don't care who makes it, what brand it is, it's cotton, it's all the same. Use one of these, put a little bit on the center of your pad, like so. Boom. <clears throat> Squeeze it through. My hands are clean. And then wipe. Downward? Downward, upward, it doesn't it matter. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Just so as long as the solution matter. is all over your face. And guys, listen to your skin. If your skin starts to tingle over the... And I'll always tell you this when you come to see me. If your skin starts to tingle and starts to feel a little bit like a burning sensation, that's your skin's way of communicating with you that you're overdoing it with the acid. So at that point, you would just not do the glycolic acid toner in the morning. But for me, my skin doesn't tingle at all. I'm so just you're good. Yeah. yeah, my like right now, my skin is not even tingling. Yeah. So for me, I'm not gonna use the toner because I already used it last uh, morning. You did it last morning. <laughs> you're gonna have to cut that out because I forgot. <laughs> this is the night one. All right. So I'm not gonna use the toner tonight because I already used it a lot and my skin will tingle and will become raw so I'm not going to use the toner. Instead, I will just be doing the hyaluronic acid with the retinol. These two. And no, I'm not combining them, I'm just doing one at a time and don't wait too long to apply the oily consistency because then it's going to disintegrate the hyaluronic acid and it's going to become like little granules and that's annoying so just 
applying the hyaluronic acid as you're putting the retinol on the palm of your hands your skin is already absorbing that hyaluronic acid so don't be the type of person who's concerned with um waiting for five minutes to have those hyaluronic acids just go in the skin <laughs> This much in the palm. Mm. Nice. Now get your retinol ready. All right, open it. Have it open. Have it free open before. Make sure you got enough. Wait, Perfect. Too tight. Hold up. Deal, yeah, girl. Wait. Incredible Hulk over here. I can't open mine. All right, there we go. Squeeze. Here, All right. I squeeze. Boom. Oh, this is a lot. Look, that's a lot. That's squeeze. too much. Perfect. Perfect. Put it back in. No, just drop it like it's hot. Okay, now we're gonna mix this in the palm. Wait, of our you put hands. yours? Yeah, you right now. Mix nope. mine? If we're not mixing, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're not mixing. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Okay. Pick up your retinol now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm almost slow. Alright. And go for it. No, you want to massage all of this. Mm -hmm. See? And that and can friends, you like drag this down like your chin? Of course you neck? can. Every area of your skin needs love. Right. Oh, this stuff feels so smooth. Right? Yes, like and hands off. That's it. Okay, one more touch. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wash my hands. And then you wake up. And your Love skin looks fabulous. I woke up like this. <laughs> I woke up. Wake up. Love it. Okay, perfect. So, and that, my dears, and that concludes the night routine. Our Very night simple, mm -hmm. super simple, straightforward. Oh, this looks so good, girl. What you mean so much to this? You know, I went to the skin therapist, esthetician, extraordinaire. Her name is Aline. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. spray. <laughs> No, guys, well, so, all jokes aside, oh, I love you. Her information will be in the description down below. You guys can find her Instagram through there. You guys can ask her questions. You Please. can book with her. Mm -hmm. um, check her out. She's really amazing, and she really has changed the way my skin looks. Aww. She is the reason for my glow, literally. She is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yes. And let us know any more video ideas you have. Yes. And um, what do you want us to do? Do you guys want a Q&A with Aileen about esthetician stuff? That would be good. Right? I'm down. I can have a guest appearance for all the estheticians out there upcoming. That's a good idea, actually. Because a lot of them ask me so many questions. I haven't had time to actually do a video, so maybe a Q and A would be nice. Yeah, I think we should because I'm they be even asking questions on my videos, and you know I'm not a skin ex, ex decision, so I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I got you. So let us know in the comments down I got below. The answer. Drop a like, share. <laughs> 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 Sayonara, ciao.